Hey, how are you? Good evening. It is Thursday. It's Thursday. It's 11.08 p.m. This will be a three-minute devotional. Sorry, a little bit late. Got caught up doing other super important stuff. Uh, yeah, trust me on that one, right? Cool. Still got to get the devotionals done for myself, for Stormy, and for any of my friends, family, co-workers that need it too. Uh, devotions get us back focused on God. It's devoting time with God to build a relationship. Uh, life goes better the closer you get to God. Test me on that one, all right? You can find all that type of stuff, um, biblical scriptures, verses, truths, promises in the Bible, NIV, NLT, ESV, uh, the Holy Bible, the Word of God. So look into that. But this is three-minute devotional. Uh, this is a hardwired for success. It is a Proverbs. What did I put? Proverbs 3, 4? Something like that. Hard word for Hardwired for success. Earn a reputation for living well in God's eyes and the eyes of people. Proverbs 3, 4. That's right. That's how people know us by our love. They see that we are the light. We're salt and light wherever we're at. And by our fruits. By our works, by our fruits, and mostly by our faith. We're going through really hard stuff that we're still at peace and we still have joy and we're still praising God. Praise God. Um, praise God when the hard times and the bad times. Hallelujah. Praise God. I know I'm going to get through this because uh, when you are going through something hard, um, you know something awesome is on the other side. What I like, uh, Joel Osteen. Is he the one that said it? Yeah, airplanes. I love airplanes and jets. They take off into the wind, right? Against the wind to take flight. It's pretty awesome. Against the wind. <laughs> I like that cool because once you're up there flying man sky's the limit those babies can go like 50,000 feet hardwired for success earn a reputation for living well in God's eyes and the eyes of people Proverbs 3 4 men seem to be hardwired to want to be considered a success go to most 10 year high school reunions and men will talk about how successful they are, or they may resort to reliving their high school successes. Men will do what they feel they have to do in order to shore up the appearance of success. However, when failure comes, some men will shift directions completely. These men will embrace failure as an old friend and live up if success is no longer available. God longs for men to be fighters for what's right. He longs for you to stop believing that you just try hard enough you can move everything in your favor. Your greatest success is to be a forgiven man of God, to be in right relationship with Him. So focus your efforts on knowing and pleasing Him. Then, as you put your attention on what your Heavenly Father thinks, what others think won't matter too much. Focus your attention on building the right relationship with him. Super simple. Cool. God, help me to be concerned about what you think and to try to please you. Then I know I'll be truly successful, no matter what my life looks like to others. Cool. Earn a reputation for living well in God's eyes and the eyes of people. Proverbs 3, 4, message version. Three minute devotion. All right, spend time with God. I got to do more than that per day. Um, in three minutes, uh, do something. Try to build a really close relationship with Him through prayer, in the morning or at night. Uh, just take a few minutes and spend time with Him. I mean, some of us can't make it to our mom's or dad's house because we don't have the time. And then before you know it, weeks and weeks go on, and you didn't talk to your mom or dad. Same thing happens with God. Days and weeks go on, and I didn't, I didn't talk to you. <laughs> Crazy. It always goes better when you talk to him. It always goes better when you're planted in a church, when you actually attend a church service. It goes better when you worship and praise him. Uh, it's crazy. But default mode should be focusing on God. Play your worship music as loud as you can. Play your worship and praise music. Yeah, there's other type of Christian music that, that is good, more harder rock type stuff. But we got to hear those lyrics. A lot of the lyrics, the good lyrics that 
are usually Bible inspired lyrics. We got to hear that a lot, a lot of those verses, all right? And uh, yeah, a lot of music is inspired by that, so we need to hear that, all right? We don't need to even remember what happened in the past. It made us who we are today. It is our testimony, but let's look forward to the future and what God promises for you right now and tomorrow, all right? Remembering that stuff and get away from any depression type stuff, any sadness stuff, any drama, any evil or demonic type stuff. Just keep that away from you as far as possible. So if it's questionable, get it out. Pray about it, get it out. If it's even borderline, get it out. When it out, whip it out. <laughs> get it, all right? So it's not that hard. But default mode, like I always say, should be focusing on God, the Word of God. If you don't know what to do and you're not feeling right about something, you're not satisfied, you feel a little bit off and you need to be tuned a little bit, get back to the Word of God or get to that worship music, get to the body of Christ, get around accountability partners. But a lot of this starts with you and your walk with God or you and your focus on God, direct correlation of that in somebody's life, uh, what they've been focused on. And, uh, yep, loving God loving people, their faith and their hope, not having fear, having power, all right? Cool, knowing that God is your Father, all right? Pretty awesome, pretty awesome stuff. I can go all day about that stuff and uh, give testimony and stuff like that, but uh, with this stuff, you don't gotta take my word for it. You can test it out. Definitely correlations, like I just said. Closer you are to God, better your life will go, all right? Keep them really close. That's why keep the Word of God next to you. Be in it can't do that that worship and praise music worship and praise him and thank him for gifting you another day because a lot of us we should be dead it's in our testimony ask us about it one day but we're not uh, God is using it for something huge we're still around because we haven't fulfilled our purpose yet all right and I kind of like it here it's kind of awesome heaven's gonna be awesome too but this is just the uh this is just the training field for what we're gonna have to go back to there we have to fulfill some purpose here or you'll hear that this is the dress rehearsal uh so yeah do really good here if you do really good here you'll make it up there but uh you have to fit in uh yeah so <laughs> it's awesome our god is awesome and he loves you so much remember that so spend time with him all right not just one hour a week in church some aren't even doing that now i don't know i don't know i don't neglect to go after him i mean god protects me um i love god he wouldn't let anything happen. He gives me knowledge and wisdom and insight onto things. Um, so I'm safe and smart about things. And uh, if I don't go, then I miss out. God showed up. He showed up. You missed out. Sorry. He shows up all the time. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Love y'all. Stay in the Word of God. Pray. Pray for my friends. Pray for my family. Pray for your friends and your family and your coworkers. Pray for my good new friend, um, Gary. Gary needs prayer. All right, Gary uh, definitely needs prayer. He's got into a dark spot. I was in a dark spot last week a little bit, started to seep in on me, but I went back to default mode, all right? Remember how blessed I am. Ah, uh, cool. That mind will get you. That's when the evil comes in. <sighs> it's gotta get that worship. You gotta have that worship song, all right? And you gotta blare it. I'm just telling you, find that song and you gotta do it, or this is how I fight my battles. You gotta blare it. I like Open the Scroll. I like Revelation Song. I like Chris Tomlin, like I said, or Casting Crowns. Blare it, all right? Positive stuff. Darkness has to flee when you do that stuff, or when you put out the Word of God, or say the Word of God, or through the music, it's saying the Word of God. Darkness has to flee. Everything evil in your mind has to go. It will go, it can't fit. It can't occupy the same space, light and dark. Light just overtakes darkness. So remember that, all right? Love you. See ya. Bye.